Today we're going to be trying out Venice. And Venice was updated in 137 Winds of Change, and I haven't really played much in Italy at all, like ever. Not a region I've been drawn to, I guess. This will be a bit of a new experience for me. The goal for this campaign is to form Italy and try out Venice. But before we get into the video, I'm trying to hit 20k subs this summer and make it a full-time job. And if you guys want to support that, I would be grateful. Let's get into the gameplay. So we're going to be looking at Venice today. I haven't played Venice much at all, before or after the patch. So we're just going to go through and see what we think. Mission here to do 10 galleys, a general, and some troops. So we need to build 10 galleys. Do that. Okay, this gives us, reveals the branching path, but gives us claims in Constantinople. Perfect. This one, do we want to colonize? That's so weird. Yeah, the, the mission tree, we'll just have to see how it goes. Looks a little weird. We'll probably try to form Italy because we never have. Let's do our states. Very standard states. We're going to just go for Dead of the Burgers. Let's look at our alliances anyhow first. We could ally Austria. I don't know that we should. It's up to me who I would like to be friends with because everyone is friendly, literally. I guess it seems reasonable to be friends with France because, you know, France. And then we could be friends with, like, Poland. Seems like a, a, another possible good alliance. It's interesting that they can just have so many friends, though. So we're just allying to Bohemia, Poland, and France for now. Looks like the Papal States hates me, so I'll probably get excommunicated. I'm going to get his fine art going with Aragon to see if I can get claims with Naples because he'll be free when he gets released. Um, we do need to do the free company for that mission at 90% of our force limit. And then we also need a general. Let's just make our ruler a general. So we're just waiting for ships. I think we're good as far as allies go. We'll ally Burgundy and just see. We might drop the alliance later if, it, if our alliance is going to be breaking. It's an extra Diplo, whatever, but it, it could be worth having him as an ally. I feel like Burgundy is probably more likely to actually help me in wars than France is. So yeah, we're just kind of playing around with that, what that might look like. But in the meantime, let's probably just turn off our maintenance mouthful forts and wait for our ships to build. Although someone said that I could do an interaction for ships. Okay, so I spent some points there. Oh, I can do spawn five galleys. Oh, so I don't even have to build them. They can just be spawned in for the mission. Okay, so I don't need to turn off my maintenance and multiple the forts. Delay that order. Name that reference. All right, so we got our mission done here for claims in Constantinople. We can have three pass. What I understand here, they're these pass. I mean, they're interesting. The one does siege ability per level, which is interesting. If But we have to have offensive, but offensive is pretty much... Like, it's a solid one anyways, so that's not bad. So the mercenary one has this assault affordability, and I don't know if this counts towards the barrage or just the assault. Like, because getting, to, you know, half off of five is not really that good of a deal, but half off of 50 is a good deal. So I'm not sure on that one. But I also have to complete mercenary ideas, which I probably won't do, so maybe we'll do offensive someday. That seems reasonable. I'm not even going to look at the third path. You know, me and ships, we don't really see eye to eye. I'm going to delete my uh, ships here then, and we're going to recruit a flagship instead. I just want to do lots of flagship cannons, so we can assault, or barrage rather. I'm going to do blocked impact and movement on and off ships, so that seems fine. Could probably build some more cogs though, that might be helpful. And yeah, we're just going to get ready to go to war with Byzantium. He's allied to Circassia, what a weird alliance. Alright, well we might as well just declare war on Byzantium. How do I have 2% crown land? Did I lose crown land somehow? That's not good. That's tragic. Why did I lose crown land? Was it one of these buttons I clicked? It was. Oh, shoot. That's not good. You lose crown land for these things? That sucks. That's terrible. I hate it. Poland chose local noble, huh? Which means Poland's weaker of an, an ally. It doesn't really matter that much, but it's weird. A little bit of weird RNG for sure. Should have an admiral if I don't. I could probably, can I barrage? Oh, yeah, I can. Barrage is. I probably shouldn't be assaulting here, but I did it anyways. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm just going to sail to Circassia because they're, like, death stacking here. Oh, it's just Byzantium with 17,000 guys. What the hell? Why does he have so many guys? I'll just declare war with somebody else, though, so we have time. But, yeah, that's a lot of guys on, uh, as it turns out. But he has hired the free company. What kind of min-max AI is this? He's cheating. The crown scenario is just really, really bad. G gaining so much. 0.3 a month. It's so bad. I think I might just have the dev to fix that to at least five. I don't really want to do this, but I feel like I have to. Like, I cannot be at under 5 crown land. That's really, really bad. Being at under 5 crown land is like the death of your nation. Look at that. I already got 13, like, autonomy everywhere. God, that's so bad. I think I just have to... I have to literally waste my mill points to try to fix it. I don't know what I can do. I have to get it fixed. But I would definitely not do that in your game, guys. Do not do that. I'm trying to waste all my points to fix it. There we go. So don't do that, by the way. That's terrible. Because, yeah, my autonomy is, like... I had probably plus 13 to 14% on my land because of that mistake. You cannot be under five. Yeah, this is kind of cursed. I'm not going to make it in time. This fully died. Okay. 
Cool. Well, it's 1444. That's too bad. Big of a mistake. So we went 1444 around that back because, yeah, that, that was a mistake. It looks like Burgundy's rivaled us in this variant, but it doesn't really matter. We'll steal this ally France and Poland, and that should be good. And Bohemia. We're going to do our estates differently this time. I'm just going to do the mill privilege and no other privilege. And that way, when I put these guys in control, I'm not going to get destroyed. So I'll give those guys three clicks. I still can't click a button. What do they want from me? Three privileges currently granted to the burgers. Sure. We'll do patronage, free enterprise, and indebted. Then we can grab our ships. Seems like crown land is important if you want to do things like that. So I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm just going to do the... Mill privilege for now, seize land, and we'll grab two development of temples, increase levies, supremacy. I'm also going to do rights for the, the equilibrium, and I think that should be good. Can summon the diet and see what they want me to do. We just need to hire the free company. I'm going to hire some cogs so I don't have that issue where I'm not landing enough guys on Byzantium, and then he has like mercs and he can beat me. Seems kind of annoying. But let's start off our maintenance and just mouthball and wait for that. Because it does seem annoying to try to war with Byzantium when you you don't really have enough ships to do it. Because you don't have enough transport ships. If you land in his capital, then you kind of get griefed, it looks like. That's my experience so far. I just don't know if this is good. It kind of seems kind of rough to lose crowd land 2.5 every time. Kind of a lot. These guys all suck. We'll just do the lottery one. And that way we get, like, happiness. Let's grab a general here. And that should be fine. Got a mission done. We get our claims Go for the first option again. Excommunicated, right, indulgences. So we're just going to wait to get our claims. Let's also do uh, Build Spine Eric on Aragon. We're not really trying to attack Aragon. We want to get claims with Naples, but can't really build claims on Naples yet. Let's see who Byzantium allies. Serbia? Yeah, I want to get the transports before I declare on him so I don't have to run into that issue. So I don't want to run into that issue again where I don't have enough ships to land on this capital, really. So a couple more transports is going to make that much easier. And now I can probably declare that war. So declare war on Byzantium. But now we're just going to head to his capital. We should be able to do this a bit easier now because we can land more people there. You know, this time we're landing like, you know, 18,000. And that makes it much easier. And we could probably also... And we can't barrage. That's surprising. We suck. And we need that flagship, man. That thing was carrying. We're going to build that. Flagship cannons. Impact on siege. Move speed. Got to get an admiral. Or should have an admiral. Dude, that's so annoying. I'm one month away from the claim. Like, literally one pick from being able to get a claim that he gets released. Now I gotta rebuild the claims from scratch. Okay, so Constantinople's over. Let's go kill his troops here. Arms are killing Albania, unfortunately, but what can I do? I'll just try to kill this dude. He's no allies, but I have no claim. I should have had claims going on this guy by now. That would have been better. Serbia's kind of an annoying alliance for him to get. So it takes me like a hundred years to siege out his fort. Finally. So I'm just gonna have Serbia annul... No, I'm just gonna have Serbia... White piece. I want to murder him later, so a short truce is probably the way. Let's go sail down there so we can win this, finish this war off. And then we got to see who he allied for bonds. I don't really care. Probably get a fabricate claim in Naples and maybe go for him next. But Flongization with Byzantium looks good to me. I'm actually going to alt at four because I remember someone in the chat saying I have to give Constantinople the Nexus. We're in a trust. I reload my save because someone in the chat mentioned some super high value from giving Naxos to Byzantium. Other way around. Byzantium to Naxos. It's going to end that war. And yeah, it's a little weird to do that. I, it's kind of... I'm just going to trust people. And we're going to probably declare an Epirus here, yeah. Because um, the Ottomans took Albania. So I have to take, uh, you know, Epirus to make up for it. Or something. That seems like fairly fine logic. Alrighty, so... Yeah, I don't really want to fight Carmen. But he's just being stubborn. I, I don't know. I'll just send his capital. They don't like that, usually. Look, it's so frustrating. Yeah, yeah. See? Very frustrating to have your capital, you know, be stood on. So we're just going to annex Epirus now. Well, in a few days, or rather. All right. Perfect. Um, we're going to boost our stability to one, even though it's expensive, because prosperity. Because I think prosperity in this land would actually make a lot of sense. Oh, I should dev this. This is just, like, all the production dev for free. And we get a mission for it, too. For our tier two, I don't really know these weird Republic things. But Yuli Tradition might be good, because I think... Um, that's important, maybe. I have no idea what I'm doing with the Republic, so don't take it as, like, advice. I think this is the one that was the, the reason we want them with Naxos, right? Because then we get plus two local goods produced on the end of the game. So I guess that's what they were talking about. I guess for that to trigger, it's, like, Byzantium, the Ottomans, and you can't own Constantinople. The influence change. I don't know who should be in power, to be fair. Like, what does it exactly do? Oh, global trade power. Okay, we want these guys to be in power, thanks to global trade power. 
fighting seems land now that um, the war ended with England, I guess. But the rebels are surely going to be like in hell over here. So you know, I got to walk like a mile. Looks like Albania is dead, though. You know, like he didn't make it. So Naples is a pretty good option, I think. Excommunicated again, bro. That's annoying. We're gonna work on Naples soon, I think. We could do a, a little bit of the murder. I should probably get like at least a. Uh, I need improved relations advisor. There we go. I think they're a little mad that I annex Byzantium. Focus mill because our guy is awful, literally terrible. I should definitely get an advisor to try to fix that, but that's terrible. I think just paying for level one advisors, even though it's going to cost you money, is probably the way. In fact, let's just delete some forts that, and then it'll feel better. That fort's useless. That fort feels pretty useless too. I feel like this fort's pretty good, to be fair, because it blocks them from going to your capital straight away. But yeah, other than that, we're just, uh, yeah. I don't like forts or the game because, you know, money. I'm going to have to like go back to Bulgaria though. Like I'm going to have rebels all over that region. Love to see it. Who's in charge these days? The guilds? Okay, so you can, you get new things every time new people are there. So we can either do, what, some marines, some gov progress, and or some prosperity? Mercantilism? That, that, that sounds pretty good, prosperity and mercantilism. I also kind of want this, though, but... Wait, I don't have to sacrifice crown land. These guys are way better. I don't have to pay my crown land anymore. Let's go. I figured I was just trading crown land for that stuff, but I, apparently it was just admin points, which is, you know... Yeah, that's a lot better. I still have my eyes on Naples, but I've been, just been distracted a couple times. I would like somebody to help me, but Bohemia needs to be told to help me. I think I need Mill Forbo before I can play the video game. France wants to murder Brittany? Sure, buddy. I mean, I don't care. You do you. I'll be rooting you on from the sidelines, you know? I meant to start annexing this guy, but then I forgot. You hate to get distracted when you were supposed to do something, you know? I will give you... 50 ducats, but you have to help me in this war, okay? This is the deal. Bro, what do you mean you didn't- where'd you put that money? What'd you do with my money? Fine, trade favors for trust. Okay, hopefully that should do it. I'm gonna go ahead and declare war in Naples, call in Bohemia, and jump into that. Use of separatism here, that sounds pretty nice. And we can always, like, change these later, because we have that button. Like, we, it seems like we have a button that just gives us gov cap when we need it. Or, I mean, yeah, gov reform, so... If we change our mind, it's not a huge deal, is what I'm kind of thinking. So the capital here, we just need to go and, you know, murder poor Naples. Bro, stop excommunicating me. You're gonna die. Rome is gonna be mine, and then there will be no more excommunications. I'm very curious. I'm not gonna do this more than once, but I'm curious. If you saved the game here and made a backup, could you just, like, rat a lottery until you uh, get what you want? I'm not, I'm not saying you guys should do this. It's more of just a curiosity thing. So I'm gonna test this for you guys a few times. I just like wondering. Someone in the chat says it's always... Like it's predetermined. I think they're probably right to, you know, based on my sample size of one, they must be right. So we're just testing this. We've waited a few days this time. Again, I'm not suggesting you should do this. I just always get curious of things like this. It seems predetermined though. Oh, cool. And relations minus 20%. Real cool game. You guys, look a bird. Did you guys see it? I saw this giant bird outside my window. I think it was like a hawk, maybe. All right. Well, uh, we'll just pick this top option for the first time. All right, so we, he's calm now. He's not a... I mean, he that's what he was the first and only time, which is this time. Can I have a barrage assault? You bet. We love a good barrage assault here in Venice. All right, we're going to annul with... I don't... Sure. Annul with Naples. Why not? All right. So now we're going to take some land aggressively. I'm thinking I should take some states because we have that, like, nice bonus. So maybe we take, like, this state and then we take this state. And there's, yeah, that, that seems pretty reasonable to me. A little bit of money. Can concentrate dev. Get our capital, uh, we get our objective done that for, uh, you know, getting our dev up a bit. Okay, we'll seize land and then we can give away the uh, mana privilege here, the religious state. We still only have the two. We didn't, we wanted to have like relatively good crown land this game. Can I still got the Iberian wedding, which is fine. I don't know if I care either way. Maybe I can improve with Castile and we could befriend him. I'm not going to full state anything for a bit because I'm trying to get my ideas up. Oh, we need to do the uh, annexation policy. I almost forgot. Let's do that so we don't get the penalty. I think I'm just going to Diplo bank. Well, not really a Diplo bank, but just, you know, hold on to my points. I'm trying to get my Abin to four or, you know, five so we can get espionage, perhaps. Espionage seems like it'd be good for Italy. Because it's mentioned done here. What a brilliant... Ooh, 75% off. That could definitely help us out. Or we could do this, which... What is this even is this? We, gave, we will gain the reward of the event and get to know some more about the topic of history. Well, I'm going to pick the top option. I'm scared. I'm going to get new burger loans. Just kidding. I already have burger loans. That's not how that works. 
Okay, we're just gonna get a loan. Get that advisor. I want to upgrade him to a five. I think it's worth the debt. France doesn't seem very useful to me. Maybe he's useful in like attacking into into here though. That's the thought process. I could probably fight the Ottomans though. I'm just like maybe we build a little bit bigger of a navy first. Wow, excommunicated again. I'm sick of it. Stop excommunicating. It's so annoying because it ruins your relations so bad. I'll send an insult because the chat demands they're like, oh, power projection, blah, blah, blah. I usually don't care to micro things like that, but... Okay, so, admin 5. We're gonna be going espionage ideas. So we're trying to hit mil 6 so we can attack the Ottomans with confidence, because if he hits... Oh, yeah, see, I was right. If he hit mil 6 during the war, he would just destroy us. Mil 5 to 6 is the biggest difference in the game, if you guys didn't know that. What, what does this button do? Is it good? Local trade power? Monthly council authority goes down? Is that worth it? Can I do it in, like, every province? Okay, no, you can't. So you can do it, like, once each, it looks like. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't really had the confidence to attack the Ottomans. I want them to leave so I can block the water. But they're kind of just, like, not doing that. Oh, look, we're, uh, Max Prosperity. That's a mission. Cool. 75% off advisor. Where is he? Oh, is it also an admin advisor? Oh, I probably shouldn't click that mission. Oops. So, guys, don't, don't click that mission straight away when you already have an advisor that does that. Just, uh, you know, a little bit of a tip. Not, not really useful to do that, it turns out. So we got mil 6 now, and we're caught up, relatively speaking, to the Ottomans. We can get... What do we want here? I don't even... What should we go here? I always think, like, expand temple rights is good, but what if you don't build temples because you are always in debt, you know what I mean? You know, I don't build temples much, so we're just going to go with that one. Wait, am I worth the Ottomans? Bro, what? Surprise! You're worth the Ottomans! Wow, thanks, Bohemia. The AI is literally trolling me. Yeah, I think I tried Alta for that, because that's really bad. Yeah, I had to go back to a previous save because that was cursed. Why did he join that war? Did the Ottomans intervene? I don't even know how that happened, because he is not allied to the Ottomans. Or guaranteed. Maybe the Ottomans intervened? But Bohemia wouldn't be a great power. That wouldn't make any sense. Maybe he allied him? I, I just, like, don't even know. Did he pull the mid-war alliance? Like, is he playing the multiplayer over here? It seems like I want them to have no council authority. Oh, we got that mission done on accident again. But we're not clicking it this time. Because we shouldn't, because we already have a cheaper advisor. Is, are you going to ask me to do that war again? How? Well, if it's not against the Ottomans, it's fine. I don't care, but like, why was it against the Ottomans before? Relations advisor is important, I feel like. Please, mercy. I don't deserve this. Just give me the improved relations advisor, please. Okay, there we go. I hate that roulette game of like, how much money will I have to waste before I get my advisor? Okay, so mission done here for having 800 splendor. Right, I'm going to grab this uh, grass expansion pack because, you know, we could use it. So we're just going to trust that Lithuania won't give him access here. Surely not, right? Like, why would Lithuania do that? we got to go for the classic play, right? See, the part that is not good is that we were actually supposed to, like, you know... Game crashed. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, did you, a bird? Did you see that bird? I think it was a, a hawk. I could have sworn it was one of those, um, like, special ones. Oh, shit. We're still... Bro, if they try to cross, I will not let them, of course. The Great Venetian Navy. Do you think it's because I didn't pick a naval policy that that would have helped, maybe? How many loans will that be? Yeah, maybe if I had a naval policy, that could have helped. What do we got here? Yeah, we just need this Venetian arsenal for the cannons, guys. We would have been fine. I'm not sure if that would have actually made the difference, but who knows. Tavia, why are you like this? And he was never seen again. All right, we got the Venetian Navy. Gained a Navy tradition. So I've now reached an all-time high personal best Navy tradition. No, my flagship. No. Why are navies bad in my hands all every time? You know the obvious answer is skill issue. What? what? They crossed the water? God damn it. <laughs> Guys, they crossed the water after they killed my ship. Surprise. That's 37,000 Ottomans, though. I don't really know how to deal with that. And then my navy's dead again. Guys, I hate navies with every single nation in the game, including Venice. They're all bad. Navies do not work. Oh, my God. Run. Oh, just, just delete them. So I deleted my navy out of frustration, and I don't care. Screw navies. They're stupid, and I'm done with them. I'm deleting this ship as well, and I'm canceling that ship I was building. Listen, guys, sometimes when you tilt because your navy sucks, the best answer is just to delete it. Now, would I recommend this, like, if I was writing a guide? Absolutely. You should delete your navies right when the game starts. I, that's what I would recommend. Why it's breaking? France, don't talk about my navy strength. You're an idiot. You literally have no friends, and you wouldn't help me anyways. I hope he breaks alliance with me so I can teach him about my navy. Poland, where are you, my guy? We're getting destroyed over here. What are you doing with your life? Yeah, we're not going to do this battle, I think. I want to, but, like, the AI is a cheater. So instead, let's just spend a absorbent amount of money for the independent army. 
When in doubt, take more loans. That's kind of where we're at right now. I'm going to go engage this guy and hopefully uh, I'm better. I am better. See you later, loser. Who needs a navy, you loser? Guys, why did I delete my entire navy out of frustration? That was a choice. All right, we're crushing him here. That's good. Where's he going to go? It's silver for you, buddy. Sack wipe. How's it feel? Am I the only one that's lead their entire navy out of frustration about hating navies? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to declare war on Serbia. We're making a lot more money now because we don't have a navy. We got to cope somehow, right? We got we to gotta, like make it sound like it was a good idea. I see nothing wrong. Brunswick will defend us again. Wow. Screw Austria, right? That guy's not getting shit. All right, we got to make some weird ass defection now. And I think it's got to be like, I don't know, like like maybe this is Bulgaria. Okay, uh, yeah, we're going for the defection play, I think. We're going to end the war with Serbia. We're just going to take colonization. I'm going to unsay, concentrate, core. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the provinces here for a defection. Because I'll control all the surrounding provinces. So that way I can make Bulgaria and Byzantium defect. I'll get rid of the independent army. I'm not going to rebuild my navy because I'm stubborn. So if the mission tree says build navies, it's not possible for me to complete. And that's just going to be what it is, right? Time for the defection minigame. So how you play the minigame is you wait for him to seize your province, and then you basically um, make a backup. You know, you save your game, make a little backup, like, you know, before he goes to the next province. And then, you're, and then your game crashes when he doesn't go to the right province. Sometimes called bird watching. Oh, wow. I win. I didn't even have to alt F4. I mean, not that I ever would do that, of course, but... France wants to do something stupid? Sure, buddy. Now I can't freaking provoke the rebels. Thanks, buddy. All right, we can kill the rebels now. Sure thing. Yeah, so those rebels obviously are right where we want them. I have rebels that are coming in, vet in Naples, but I don't have transport ships and I refuse to build them. So it's kind of awkward. So yeah, that, that's the situation we're kind of dealing with right now. I wish I picked that mercenary idea and not the other one. I really regret that. Where's the respec? Like, I want the other one, please. We'll go ahead and grab military engineering. Seems like we're kind of just farming mercantilism and gov progress. Wh whatever. Give me more men in this province, I guess. Sure. I was going to let the lottery decide. And apparently the lottery, like, you can't halt that for the lottery. Just, you know, but we got the guy we wanted anyways. So we'll, we'll take that lottery, right? See, I was just threatening the save scum. So the game kind of usually respects that, in my experience. Just like with the rebels before. I was like, I'll save scum if you don't go the right way. And, you, you know, you look at them now. So yeah, definitely a viable strategy I'd recommend. We're going to try to stay Republic just because, like, we're Venice and, like, how often are we going to do that? It's like one campaign a lifetime where we might be Republic. I wish that we weren't that. You know, you ever have that wish, like, in real life, too? You're like, man, it'd be really cool if I was, like, not in debt instead of being in debt. Tech 7, for military at least, and that means cannons. Yeah, I I'm just going to declare this war. Maybe there's some, like, scraps for me, you know? It's just Rebels here. He's not getting killed, right? Oh, no, he's getting killed. Guys, that's aggressive to just kill that guy. You can't do that. Oh, wow, we can make a full ducat a month. And <laughs> we should probably have built that a while ago, guys. We got a free province here. It excommunicated as well, so it should be relatively free, AE-wise. So we'll take that. You know, I, I definitely want to just, like, kill all of Italy, but I'm trying to not... I'm trying to be patient at the same time. Because, let's just say, in a past life, I wasn't patient. And uh, the entire game <laughs> declared on me, okay? It wasn't me who did that. I'm just saying, like, in a past life. What I'm going to do here is decrease autonomy so they get more upset at me so that the rebels can be provoked sooner. I, not the chat, just noticed that I was over my diplomatic limit, so I'm going to cancel middle access from Manchua. All right, so we're just trying to provoke these rebels before we declare any wars because, you know, getting a defection would be good. And I can't provoke, obviously, during war. So maybe we just, like, chill. We're making 20 ducats a month now, which is pretty good. You know, you save a lot of money without a navy. So I should probably grant the diplo privilege I forgot about a while ago. I just didn't want to have like bad autonomy, so I had I never grant all the. Well, I kind of thought that all the government things took away Crownland. That's why I did that, and then I realized it was only when they are on the trade person. So maybe I would have granted more privileges. I just didn't understand how the mechanics work. But I think I'm just going to continue to like get gov reform progress. That seems kind of broken, and like mercantilism seems good too. I think having low of this is the way the, theoretically. Perfect. So we got this mission down here that gives us a cheaper advisor. And we're definitely going to get him to rank 5, even if it costs a loan or two. And speaking of a loan or two, we might need to take a loan or two to get some cannons. We're going to get to our classic stack here. We probably should lower autonomy, but I don't know if I have the mental capacity to deal with rebels. Right, so Byzantium got independence and, I, and my game crashed. Yeah. Did you see that? Damn it. You guys couldn't remind me to get the claim, huh? 
Like, come on. I had literally a 58 spy network, and none of you were like, oh, by the way, you might want to fabricate a claim. There's literally over 100 of you watching, and not one of you. All right, so my game, like, it crashed. I had nothing I could do. And now I'm going to get a claim on, you know, Byzantium when he affects. I'll also get a Bulgarian claim. Right, and the problem is, is no one knows how to claim anymore because that's how Europa is. Like, I feel like a newer player legit might not know what claiming land is. But yeah, Byzantium defected, and yeah, this time obviously we have a claim. We're just going to declare war. I probably should have made the other rebels defect first, but literally it's going to take three, three seconds, so it doesn't really matter. Bruins like inherited Burgundy. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this fallenization. Three provinces, not a lot, of course. This doesn't defect because it's this capital. But we are going to go ahead and provoke those Bulgarian Separatists. This is the one that actually is going to be matter. So again, we're going to have to possibly play the mini game where we go bird watching. But since I've threatened the rebels, I'm pretty sure that they should just go the right way the first time. That'd be my guess. Why is our alliance breaking? Can you not? I'll just break alliance with Castile. I have to kill him anyways. It makes some sense. All right, so I was just thinking that I might want to get a uh, personal unit over here. Or I mean, a subjugation. This was my idea, not the chats again. So five years until that defects. So I'm going to just recruit some more cans over here for my second stack. And, you know, I like that 1244, so we're just going to take a loan and make that happen again. And a shout out to those in the chat that are, you know, always providing different ideas and stuff like that. I do appreciate you guys. Why is this happening to me? I don't deserve this. What do you mean? No warning or anything. Just like, by the way, the revolution's here. How did we not see that coming? I'm going to go with the bottom option because I don't want to get, I don't want to get rid of the, um, this thing and that, that being at 40 would probably be bad. So don't yell at me. Just let, let it be. It's okay. We're going to get a 666. I thought there was going to be another election. What happened? Was it like a hypothetical another election or what exactly does immediately mean? Cause I'm a little confused on the, the terminology now, like immediately in a couple months, like immediately in a few years. Like, what exactly, uh, what exactly is the case here? I got admin to seven, and I don't really know what I'm going to pick. It's probably admin, though, right? Um, it's either admin or offensive, I think. Admin's always just, like, an idea group that you have to have. I mean, let's just go admin. But it, you have to. You're playing Europa. It's that simple, right? Like, I'll grab this bookkeeping to lower my inflation. We're going to ask France to prepare for war. And let's just kind of look around and see what kind of wars we could do. So we definitely call in France. France will do a lot of the heavy lifting here. We could get a lot of land from these two guys in this war. And then, you know, like maybe chill out and go attack the Ottomans or something for a minute. That would probably be reasonable. So I'm just going to declare this war here against Milan. Couple of Drake, Manchua, call in France. So France should be, you know, somewhat just carrying the war, I would think. I mean, I have 40,000 guys. Like, it's not like I really need a hard carry. I don't have any ships, though. Nothing I could do about that one. Bohemia was selected. Well, whatever. Let's start building things in our capital because there's a mission to do so. The plan is to eventually form Italy because we've never played Italy. It's an interesting region. I feel like it's very much like... It's, it's definitely HRE-like where, you know, everything's really aggressive and stuff. Everyone's really mad when you want to play the video game. We'll just wipe peace with this guy. We want short truces potentially with other people here, I'm thinking. We got this guy here too now, as so there's a good opportunity to reconquest in the future. I'll probably wait a bit to do so, even you know, because I'll be pretty aggressive in this war. So there's a mission for building six buildings, so I'm kind of working through that eventually. We're just gonna grab a bunch of land here. We're getting a bunch of trade centers, and other than that, we're trying to just chip away but not be too aggressive. Who's this? Oh no, bro! I was not paying attention to that. You know what I really would like in EU4 is a reminder. Like, an, uh, the option to set a reminder, at, like, at a date. I just happened to notice, and totally didn't save scum, that Bulgaria is, uh, you know, independent here. Poland's gonna try to steal it, probably, you know, like, you know, we don't trust Poland. We got this done for having four buildings, so... We have a 90% off advisor? Good hell. As if the other one wasn't cheap enough. They're like, you know, well, 75 is kind of pricey. We'll give you a 90. Okay, we can end this war now. We're just a, a little over GovCap again. Probably need another land right. Hopefully we are able to upgrade our government rank and there isn't some sort of like, you can't do this because you're at Venice. Oh, we got faceting. Accidentally. Alliance breaking is because I got faceting and you didn't. That's understandable, Poland. I would be mad too. I better just break alliance with Bohemia so I can keep my alliance with Poland. All right, so holy war on the Ottomans. I have a plan. I'm going to send my guys to Corfu to bait his ships. This is a flawless plan, guys. It works every time. All right, he's not falling for it. 
We're going Golden Age. We saved up our points for this so we could get ideas costs cheaper because you get the 10% idea cost. So we almost have adaptability and we are done with espionage. And we can finally get Diplo 4. Let's go. Pretty early. 1492, Diplo 4. Respectable. We got adaptability, so that's pretty huge. We could full state now that we've got adaptability. It was, that's kind of the plan as we were waiting for adaptability. We can probably state some more stuff too. We might need the third land right soon though. Because, yeah, our gov cap is... We're getting up there. All right, so let's grab Diplo 6. We can finally build the thing that it wants us to, which is a dock. And you know I love docks. I'm going to have to grant another land right, so we might as well. I'm pretty sure that's all the land rights, though. Yeah, that's all three, so we can't really use that to bail us out any further. So we just got to keep that in mind. I'm not really sure what I want to take in the war. There might be, like, a mission that's probably, like, you know, you need to take certain land. I'm not sure. I'm going to end the war here. I'm just going to take a path to the Mamluks so I can possibly fight them next. Because it's still a while before I can actually attack into Europe, I think. Okay, so we got this mission done for building a dock. Got this mission done here, which gives us culture in Constantinople will become Venice. Catholic. You got a couple missions here done. Uh, this one... Oh, shoot. Wait, I own that. I own that, though. Wait, do I not own that? Oh, it's the Knights. Dang it. If I would have known that, I would have taken that province in the war, but they kind of snuck that one in on me. It's okay. Look at these weird numbers of points they give you, by the way. <laughs> that just seems very odd. Very specific, weird numbers there. We'll take it, but it's just, yeah, a little strange. I'm going to grab the Indebted of the Burgers. We're slowly getting out of debt. We're having a little bit of problem with Rebels, and we can't really walk there because we can't get military access. It's kind of annoying. And where our stubbornness says no boats, so it's kind of like really awkward in that sense. Sometimes you have to commit to being stubborn. We'll go ahead and fluent Cypher, so it should be good to get him the Vassal. Which, yeah, we're doing because we don't want to build ships because we're stubborn. You got to do what you got to do. I'm tempted to go to war here, but there's a mission I'm trying to grab over here where I have to have one province that I missed from the Ottomans and the truces for a little bit. So considering just waiting, probably some reformations here. Okay, so truce with the Ottomans expired. We're going to declare war. The, unfortunately, the war goal is Rhodes, but I, I don't think it's going to matter because obviously we're never going to get to Rhodes. And this guy's never going to give us access, huh? That's awkward. Looks like we're not getting military access to the Ottomans' land. Unfortunate. These guys won't give me military access, and that's whatever. I'll just get some military access the old-fashioned way. I'm going to build a new stack of guys as well. I'm just trying to get to the Ottomans, and that's why I'm fighting the Mamluks in the first place. I have no real reason to fight the Mamluks. And sometimes when you don't have boats, and you can't build them, you have to make sacrifices, right? I'm just going to take roads from the Ottomans. We got this mission here, and that's for taking roads. And then this is the mission we want to hold, where we get an AE impact. For 10 years so we're probably gonna hold that until we end a war in italy so it would be really nice if i was orthodox for the extra ae now that i thought about it but like it's really like how, how do you just become orthodox like you think we're like close there's no way right wait there is a way it's not th it's not that bad maybe we just exploit dev everywhere that's catholic see where it puts us i didn't even think it was gonna be a possibility before so i'm kind of like kind of just like oh i, I thought we were gonna be like way too catholic but it seems like we're just that's not the case so I'm just exploring Dev in all the Catholic provinces to try to, you know, get that a little bit more in line. I might even Dev. I mean, heck. Apparently, uh, yeah. That, that could be good. I guess we could Dev randomly. Oh, this is Catholic, though. That's unfortunate. I, I didn't. That one mission made this Catholic, and it's kind of dev What's cheap to Dev over here? But that, Kosovo is pretty cheap. Let's encourage Dev in Kosovo. We have that, like, ability to thing, too, right? Like, this would be helpful. Let's just, like, do some of this if we can. We're just trying to get that development... Because uh, I, I really, Orthodox could be the way. Oh, yeah, we're, we're a majority Orthodox now. I like it. Yeah, I would, I would like to, because Orthodox gives you a uh, AE impact. Let's get out of here. We're Orthodox now. I like it. Let's do some Consecrate Metropolitan so we can uh, get the uh, thing that I'm trying to get. That's, of course, the Icon of St. Nicholas for the AE impact. That's kind of what I was thinking. Should we defend the faith? Sure. I didn't actually think going this religion would be that easy. It was just a matter of exploiting dev and developing a couple provinces. I would have, like, maybe I should have done that a long time ago. Because I'm getting bullied by getting excommunicated, like, the whole game. Wasting all my money on that. It's annoying. Defender of a vulnerable faith? Didn't this used to be broken? And they nerfed it or something? Is, is this the event that gives you the 25 war score cost? Like, back in the day? I swear it is, right? So I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm crazy. Alright, so I'm just gonna kick off another war. We're going to be doing some war over here. We want to try to get into a war before the age ends because we lose the impact. So declare war on Milan. 
gonna be calling in France, a couple of joining a couple of people, and that's fine. Yeah, we're kind of we're doing this at the same time. We don't really have time to wait because the age, yeah, it's 40 months. So we want to take advantage of the age. We actually have good AE impacts at the moment, and then we can pop that mission. Because yeah, people get really touchy about you taking stuff in Italy, in my experience. This is just me trying to get carried in two wars, you know? All right, I'm going to end this war here. I'm just going to be grabbing these provinces here. Perfect. So we got this mission done here for the e impact and this one here, which gives trade steering, trade company investment costs, and center trade upgrade costs, as well as some nice trade power. We only have 17 months to end this war before we lose 10% AE, so that's... It would be better if we could end the war sooner than later. Yeah, that's unfortunate he quit the war. France quit the war on me, which kind of sucks. I was like halfway in the other war, though, but... I can have a piece of Genoa and get something out of it. Get, um, you know, some land I need and give, give my uh, subject some guy land back. Yeah, we didn't co-belligerate Luca, so I think just a white piece from him would be acceptable. I mean, we could take Avon 10. It, sure. I don't really know what to do as an idea group, though, so... Maybe I should do offensive so I can get that mission done or something. Three plus three siege ability per advisor level. It's nothing crazy, but it's also not terrible. So let's go ahead and make the Papal State in Newell with Castile. And then we can let him out of the war. So we're just going to grab those four provinces and get that war over with. All right, so we're getting close to forming Italy, for sure. We just have to wait a few more years, and I think we're there, you know, relatively soon. I guess we could probably start to annex this guy. That's probably fine. Let's just get the policy for it. So it's just a matter of waiting for some truces, and then we're going to finish off these last few wars. But we have time for revolution, of course. Um, I guess we'll just pay the money and civility. And the event election happens. My ruler kind of sucked anyways. Oh yeah, wait, no, it doesn't work. That's right. There's no actual new election when that happens, I guess. It's just a bait. So I'm just going to declare war on Luca. We need one of his provinces to form into um, Italy. So unfortunately, yeah, you know, he has to go. So that war is pretty fast. I just wanted the one province I needed from him. I don't need to be like overly aggressive. I'm probably pretty aggressive already. And I really, I have to take Rome as well. So let's save the AE for Rome. Probably. So yeah, we'll, we'll just grab the one province here. All right, so we're going to war with the Papal States. The bullying is finally over, the Papal States. It's your turn to be bullied. I like the infinite gov reform progress this nation gets, I will say. We're coming down on like the our ninth theory reform in 1522, which is... That feels like it's early. All right, we're going to just get like some more uh, money from Liege. All right, we're going to white piece Genoa. I'm, I'm finally excited to make this guy pay for all his toxicity from, you know, excommunicating me over and over. I'm trying to get offensive before we form into Italy so we have that last mission done. Okay, I can get this institution, I guess. He has unconditionally surrendered, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think he'll uh, have enough time. It's going to be yeah, a few more months and it's, uh, it's over for him. Sweet revenge is almost complete for all those times he decided to excommunicate. So I'm going to grab this Religious Wars and it's going to be a full organization with the Papal States. Nobody seems to really care because they realize he was toxic. Trying to get through our offensive. We get 20 siege ability. We have a lot of siege ability. And with that, we'll have even more. So we have espionage as well. So siege ability is actually going to be like really correct. We'll start annexing Cyprus. That's good. So we could form Italy, of course. I'm not going to quite yet. I want to do this, but they also want me to have professionalism, which is annoying. And I have to like wait a hundred years. Let me know in the comments if you guys ever drill. I'd love to know. I need to get my... Uh, I'm trying to get my professionalism to 20, though, before we go from Italy. Got a professionalism where we need. That's going to do that mission for us here, which gives us Army Advisor and Commandant Advisor will grant us plus 3% per level. So let's see what our siege ability is, just out of curiosity. It's got to be pretty good, right? Yeah, plus 35%. Or no, is that not calculating right? Reopen it. So we have plus 50% siege ability. Not bad at all. That, you know, I'm not sure exactly how that translates to how fast sieges are, but I'm sure that it is effective, right? I'm sure I'm sure that we siege relatively well. We could even then get more, you know, if we got more um, professionalism, we could get that up higher. But for now, it's pretty solid, I'd say. I'm not sure what we're missing in the mission tree, but we may just go and move on to Italy because that sounds cool. And there's some missions here that are kind of troll that are like, oh, you have to wait for the Age of Absolutism. And I'm not really about that. I just want to form Italy. So yeah, I'm just going to form Italy because I never have. And that sounds interesting. We'll hit yes, please. The color is not the best. I'm not gonna, maybe maybe they want you to, they're trying to get you to form Rome as fast as possible. It must be it. Ooh, we have a huge mission tree. I really like it. Perfect. All right. So we're going to call it for today's episode. And of course, we're going to do a follow-up episode where we look into Italy. And we probably won't be stubborn. You know, in the next episode, we'll probably build ships. But 
we had to send a message that, you know, we weren't going to build ships. Especially because a worthy navy is probably, uh, probably going to be hard to complete that one at the current time. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great day.